Why am I making this film? Well, basically, um, first of all, I'd like to thank Bri. No worries, mate. For doing this for me. Um, it's for cancer research. Lost my mum a little while ago. <coughs> first time I met Brian, he had a long chat with my mum on the phone. Then I popped round to see him again and uh, said that she passed away. And uh, I want to do something for cancer research and I want to do something I was good at. And so, well, hopefully good at. <laughs> um, and decided to do some comedy sketches and stuff. So, Pin well, first, yeah, well, first and foremost, I mean, like, you know, I was. I was a big well. I I thought I was a big E17 fan, but to be honest, I was he a ain't. big I was a big Brian Harvey fan, and uh, he take, knows. I've so a bit of take that on the side. A bit of take that, fuck take that. Never had to take that on the side, <laughs> but um, yeah, I was a big fan of Brian's, and uh, I even uh, you know went to see him three times in concert. Uh, chased him once outside Top of the Pops, trying to get an autograph, and I wanted to meet him. When I met him, do you know what? I've got to be quite honest. Um, when I did meet him. He was exactly how I expected him to be. He was charming, nice, generous, came out, he chatted. He was nothing like they portrayed him in the fucking press. It's disgusting. Yeah, they do, they do make a bit of a mockery um, about me. I mean, there ain't, but, one, yeah. there ain't one decent story out there. No. Of, uh, if you, you've only got to look online or whatever, type in my name and that old, old leap of shit comes up. So I, I do get preconceptions of how people think that I'm going to be. Obviously, I'm quite common. I talk quite common and all the rest of it, but I'm stereotyped as, yeah. oh, he must be a druggie, he does coke and all the rest of it and that. And all of it's completely untrue. If people yeah. take the time to just sort of meet you and get to know you like Steve did and that, you'll find out that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty normal, you know what I mean? And when he knocked on the door, and um, I, like I said, the first time round, I spoke to his mum on the phone for about 10 minutes and that. And then he come back a while ago and said um, that his mum had passed away from cancer I lost my, my nan to cancer as well. She had leukaemia of the blood. So, obviously, I, I know what that feels like. And to sort of get left on your own, sometimes you want a bit of help. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, I, I, you know, he's a nice bloke and that. And I felt a little bit obligated and thought, yeah, well, you know, it ain't going to hurt doing a bit of a sketch. I do a little bit of filming and, and stuff with cameras and that anyway. So yeah. I just thought, yeah, it'd be a bit of fun. And if it helps him out, yeah. and it's for a good cause. Which he, yeah, and which he has done as well. Well, my me, me girlfriend's an actress and that. Her name's Joanne Matthews. She's been in films like The Firm and she's done loads of adverts and uh, she's got a... Um, there's like a, a piece up on YouTube at the moment, like a new sort of sitcom uh, web base called Storyline that she's been doing. So she's done quite a lot of bits and, and like I say, we, we've got a couple of cameras, a couple of 5D Mark IIs and we have a little mess about with the filming. I've got a lot of interest in uh, actually being the other side of the camera doing the filming, I'm very into that, I'm very into the editing, as opposed to, you know, being out there and trying to be a celebrity and that nowadays, that just, for me, that like, them days are gone. And he's bloody good at it as well, that's the thing, like, he's showing me things, he's, he's good, you know. Well, I like, I like it, you know, you turn your hand to most things. If it's something that I'm into, then I will find out all about it, like, I research all about cameras, like what you're shooting on the day, the Black Magic and that, I've looked at all the reviews on that, and and all the rest of it, lenses and how much they cost and how I'll never have the money to get one of them. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of interest in the film and I would like to make my own film one day, right. but um, I'm not quite ready yet. I get stuck with, you know, things like scripts and stuff because uh, with, with, with filming and, and with acting and that, there's, I don't know, I, it's a bit embarrassing sometimes because you've got to overplay things a little bit and I'm not a trained actor or nothing, not like yourself. But I will say you freaked me out in the 80s with my beautiful <laughs> yeah. jet. I was sitting there in front of me and then and granddad watching the telly and that. And I'm thinking, oh, this film's all right. I'm allowed to stay up late. I'll carry on watching this. And then all of a sudden I was like, no, I, I've got to go to the toilet now. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I, I didn't know how to take it. With me, I, personally, I feel like the music industry, the press and the media, they've never really treated me fairly, I don't think. And um, I'd kind of come to terms with, in my own head, that you won't ever be making music again because one, no record companies will sign you. Number two, press will always slag you off rather than write a supportive piece about you. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of came to terms with nothing there's really ever going to happen again. Although I do still make music. I've just got a, a record that I've made at the moment with a friend of mine, Trevor, in, in, in Yarmouth, a guy called Trevor Fuller, who I do a bit of filming with, actually. And it's a song called Be With You. And uh, it's a ballad. It's really commercial. 
I mean, a real radio-friendly record. It's not something that I would normally make. But um, I'm, as I'm getting older, I mean, I'm 42 now, I'm, I'm, I'm more open to, you know, it, it ain't all about just, oh, it's got to be R&B and it's got to be this way. I'm a little bit more open to other ideas now, you know? But so anything anything creative, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm up for doing, which is why I was up for, for doing yeah, this with yeah. Steve today. Well, I mean, I've been lucky, you know? Yeah. I, you, know if, you know, if I died tomorrow, at least I can say, you know, I, You've been I, there and I, done it, I mate, actually you? did get somewhere in, in doing something. You know, yeah. it's not just down to me, it was down to the rest of the, uh, the boys in E17 and that as well, and Tony and, you know, writing the songs and who managed us and everything. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have done something that was actually successful. So if nothing ever happens for the rest of my life, at least I've got, you know, as a Christmas number one, that's getting played to death every single Christmas. It's never going to go away. The, uh, the, but the, the fact the, of the matter is, it wouldn't have been a Christmas number one if it weren't for him. And that's what people forget. The, uh, the free, phone, opinion, the free that phone advert. That pisses me off. They're using our song, It's All Right, and that at the moment, selling phones. I'm not getting any money for it, by the way. And uh, even though you're using my voice, but that's fine. You know, I'll just put it down to, well, someone liked something that I did. They want to use it, so for that, I'll just put it down to I'm flattered to have got you know to to have got somewhere. And if I don't do anything ever again, it's not to be an end all about it. I think what I've learnt now is it's not about chasing the fame; it's about being happy in life, you know. And yeah. we get older, yeah. and um, you know things change. But I'll always have my, my my hands in something creative, whether it be music, whether it be making films or documentaries or music videos or something yeah. like that, or doing you know, comedy sketches or whatever, like, I'm, I'm interested in it, you know, I like doing it, so it's fun. Well, this is, this is a part, of the, I mean, this is sort of like just the, it's the beginning, really, of, of, of a longer sketch show that I'm planning to, well, I'm not planning, I'm going to do it, putting it together, about a 20-minute, half-hour sketch show um, to try and sell, not for much, 2.99 or something, to raise for cancer awareness. That's basically what it's for. It'd be nice for you to go through and, and actually get on the TV and that. I could actually see him doing it. Do you know what I mean? I it's nice of you to say something. No, I could yeah. see you doing it. I could. Yeah. Well, you never, you never know. You it's all down. It's all down to Brian. Brian's, Brian's got his own plans and stuff, and like I don't want to, you well, know. Well, he said it now. He's, he's got to start writing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Brian, well, look, if, you know, he, yeah, he, well, he, if he's if got my number. If, if, if he fancies, you know, come up and that. If he fancies doing it, you know, I'll always, I'll always ask him because I mean that was. That was funny. That was, I mean, I was. Yeah, he's a that, laugh. that was that was a laugh. That I mean, I've enjoyed like the old day, well, but just, that bit down there, mate, let's was. Let's just hope it's a was, springboard yeah. for something, something that yeah, maybe yeah. that Brian and you will be working on for TV and TV format because it's there. It's it'd be there. nice. It'd be. Now it would be make nice. Yeah. You should be phoning him up. You, you look. I've had this idea. <laughs> this idea. Yeah, yeah. Get it going. Start yeah, writing yeah. it down. Get it made. Well, maybe today what we've done and that, depending on sort of how it comes out and how and how well it comes across, you just know, maybe. maybe you know, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah. I wouldn't rule it All out. All I want is this geezer to be happy, man. Do you know what? Because he's he's like he's really done like he's done me proud doing this. He really has. And, you know, for being a fan of his, to him doing this for me is you know, chokes me up a little bit to be quite honest. He's done like he's you know, like and he's doing he's done it because, you know, because of mum and stuff and yeah, it's, it's just it's for you the know, right it's for, mate, he's, he's, it's for he's, the right, he's a lovely bloke. It's and for the right, what? it's for the right reasons, man. Yeah, he's a lovely bloke. And do you know what? Don't fucking believe I am gonna swear now, don't believe a word. They say about him in a paper, he's nothing like they fucking portray him as. I'm, it pisses me right off. It really does. Me he's a lovely bloke. He's an absolute diamond. And thank you once again, Brian. Thanks, Steve. No, thank cheers, you, mate. Thank you, mate. Pleasure, thank mate. You. Pleasure. Thank you.